y'all, it's your girl, your favorite Southern Rail, Susie Homemaker, and thank you for joining us for another Sunday dinner. All right. On the menu today, we have a balsamic glazed fish sandwich with some Mexican street corn. All right, y'all, so the first thing we're going to make is the balsamic glaze or the fish sandwich, okay? So this Sunday, we also decided to keep the same routine going and just do a voiceover, but that's about a half a cup of balsamic vinegar. We're gonna go in with a little bit of brown sugar there. And then, oop, we got a little bit of spillage on the stove, but that's all right. We're gonna mix it, and we're gonna let it simmer and reduce down to half a pot. And now we're gonna go in and put our corn directly on the rack. Um, you do not have to put this on a pan, just roast it straight in the oven, throw it in like that. I preheated the oven, I think, to about 350. And once we get all the corn loaded up, we're gonna set our timer for 20 minutes. Yeah, 350, I'm smart, boom. All right, and now we're gonna go in and season up our fish with a little classic seasoning. The only thing different with this besides the garlic powder, onion powder, and all that good stuff is the um, mama's Cajun seasoning, you know? And we're gonna just lightly season up that fish. It's just some whiting from the local grocer. It's no special fish like catfish or anything. I just got some regular whiting. Um, we lightly season that up because we are going to season our flour, okay? And this is what's going to make sure we have good seasoning on our fish so it won't be tasteless. And after we season this up really good, we're going to shake that flour around. All right, after we shake that flour up to make sure the season's all through there, we're going to grab our fish again and mix that together. Make sure we get all the seasoning up in the grooves and stuff of the fish. You want every inch of the fish coated with seasoning. So again, because we like flavor, we don't want tasteless fish. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and dump our fish in some flour and mix it up like that. And then once that's mixed up, we're gonna go check on our corn. They look good and roasted up. We're gonna take them out the oven. Be careful when you're taking it out the oven. Don't be like me and burn yourself. I didn't burn myself this time, but just be careful because I didn't use anything to pick them up. Anyways, after that, we are going to get ready to throw our fish in the grease because that should be ready to go. Look. It's ready and we got that air fr that fryer, I'm sorry, at 356 degrees. The green button is, the green light is on and is ready. Um, so when I took my fish out the flour, I kind of shifted it to make sure no extra flour was on there to make them nice and crispy. So just shake all the excess flour off them. I'm tapping the basket around to make sure the top of the fish gets coated in oil to make sure they are fried evenly. And now we're going to shuck some corn, the worst part of fresh corn. I love it, but this is like so annoying to do. You're going to shuck it and make sure you get all those hair off and all that good stuff. And we're done shucking. And we're going to get some butter on there. After we put that butter on, we're going to go right back into the oven, make sure it's all melted up for us. As you see, we had some of our fish done. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce for the corn. And this is just some mayo and some sour cream here. We're gonna mix together really well. All right, after we mix our sauce up, we're gonna start spreading it on the corn. I know y'all probably like, why is only five corn up there? Well, because this was our first time trying Mexican street corn. And my family and I can be very picky. So I just wanted to make sure we had enough corn just in case we'd be like, uh-uh, this ain't gonna work. And we just want some plain old salt, butter, and pepper on our corn. Okay, but we're gonna spread that all nice and evenly on the front and on the sides, let it drip down. We're gonna season just a little bit with some salt and pepper on the top. 
And after our salt and pepper, we're going to put on our uh, red onions back there and sprinkle some cheese and some chili powder on there, get some lemon on there. And actually, everybody kind of actually really enjoyed the corn. Enjoyed it quite a bit. It was quite an interesting taste, but I would definitely eat this again. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Sunday dinner in a nutshell this time as well. A little quick, easy Sunday dinner. I have a few sandwiches with the whole shebang, as everybody wanted to call it. It has just some grocery store tartar sauce on there, some red onions, some romaine lettuce leaves, and of course our balsamic glaze on the top dripping on the sides. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy. So as always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow us on all social media platforms that we have listed here. And as always, I'm your favorite Southern Belle, and it's been fun. Catch you next time. Bye.